with all the stock moves done and manufacturing completed, the only things remaining are the accounting records and uh, the bills and uh, the invoices for our clients. So let's take a look at first at the financial records that we have. So profit and loss, what do we have here? We have some cost of goods sold, uh, and that is for some of these consumables that were reported into this from the beginning. Uh, this could be set up differently, so consumables perhaps would be better to set up to be expensed here instead of cost of goods sold, but this is just a configuration that could be adjusted. No revenue has been recognized yet, but on the balance sheet there is a lot of different things. And uh, in here we can see that in our bank we still have all the cash, and um, including the deposit that we received, by the way. Then the finished parts inventory is uh, quite high, and uh, we also have this inventory to be received. There is a negative balance in here. There is such a big difference in here um, that almost zeroes out because we did not yet receive bills from our vendors. So this is basically the contra account. It's a temporary one. Uh, when we received the inventory in here for the accounting records to be created automatically uh, without having the vendor bill, there is this negative balance. And then once we receive the bill, then we will have the liability and this will clear out. And the same goes for the unbilled shipped inventory. So we have sent out the inventory already, so it went out from the parts and finished goods inventory, but it did not get invoiced yet, so it's not a receivable. Once it gets to be into the receivables, this will also clear out. So let's go ahead and process these things right now. I'll go ahead and click on sales, and I have a couple of different things in here. So I will go ahead and filter to my orders, not just quotes. And I have this one set into invoice status. I'll click this. And this is the one where we got the down payment. So I will click create invoice in here to actually recognize the revenue. You can see in here that the originally ordered quantities were four and two for these items. And we delivered four and two, but we didn't invoice them yet. So we didn't recognize the revenue. We instead invoiced the down payment. And we also have some shipping in here uh, set at zero. Create invoice, invoiceable lines, deduct down payment. So this way the invoice will remove the down payment out of there and balance it out with these newly uh, created items. It's set to be a draft. I'll click this and let's see what's going on in here. So the balance is zero. So basically the down payment was already paid. Nothing needs to be added or subtracted from this. I'll click validate on this. And then these things, they fill out by themselves in this case. Now going back to the sales order. So now I see that delivered and invoiced matches. So everything is done here. And now I have just a bigger order remaining here. I made some changes to it since the last recording um, to correct a couple of things, but let's continue on from there. So we have five delivered items in here out of a 10, and we can go ahead and make an invoice for these five. So I'll create the invoice for them. 10,800, it's a draft. I'll go ahead and click validate. And now we have an invoice for these items as well. It's open, it's not paid yet, but it is open. Let's see back here. Okay, so we have uh, something already paid here and there, there's another one that's uh, partially invoiced. And then let's go ahead and record all the bills that we have for the, from the vendors. So the way that it normally happens is uh, the accounts payable person receives the bills in the email or mail and then they enter them into the system. So there is a particular place to do that. If we go to vendor bills in accounting module, we have a couple of them already open, but we need to go ahead and create more. So I'll click create and then I could say, for example, we got an order from, from cartwheels, right? Uh, we got a and a bill for them and it's for PO number five. So I could see that the only open PO I have is number five. It's for $259. I could, for example, check with the uh, bill that I have and it is correct. So I'll go ahead and validate this. 
and then I will I will create a new one and for this one I will make it a plastic bin and let's see if we have an open one number eight where there is an open one I can also update these uh, build dates and uh, due dates in here per the build that I have validate, validate this as well save create another one and we have this very large PO as well and I'll assume that everything is correct in here as well we actually have a 276 items in here that are being built from us not 280 which we ordered originally we did receive only 276 so the automated population of uh, the way that it populated here automatically is correct 276 so I'll validate this as well so I have added a whole bunch of new invoices in here and let's see if we do need to make one for appliance indirect and we do have one for $81 so I will process this as well. I won't enter the build dates. It will just populate today. So now all of the vendor bills and the customer invoices are in the system. So what we can do now is we could see uh, the different reports that we could look at. So for example, we have the aged receivables report. And here it's not much. There's not a lot of data. So it's just one invoice in here in the receivables. And in the payables, there's a little bit more. All of these invoices are here and besides that let's look at the profit and loss and balance sheet so the profit and loss now recognizes a bunch of a revenue that we received from the large sale so it's here the cost of goods sold is also there it's here uh, it seems like the way that the, the costs and sales prices for these items were set up uh, it was selling at a loss so there's an $11 loss in this case and then the balance sheet, uh, we have still all the cash in here. We now have receivables because we built something. And uh, our parts and uh, finished goods inventory is the, the lonely account in here. So all of the intermediary accounts, so the, um, the pending things. So things that weren't built yet or weren't invoiced, they are out of here. So it's just the remaining account. And of course also the payables and the sales taxes, everything is recorded automatically. Sales taxes is calculated for Chicago. So you could see that all of these uh, accounting records were created automatically in the system when we processed things through. And one more thing in the accounting system, there is an expense tool in here which is uh, very convenient to use, so let's use that. So. I will show it on a Mac mobile device in this case so because the, the system could be used via mobile devices so if there are some kind of uh, uh, people that are perhaps outside the office perhaps salespeople or other and they're traveling and they need to record an expense they could do it while on the road via their cell phone so we could go to the expense module here and we would click create expense and uh, for example, the, uh, it's a salesperson that went and took, um, took some clients to lunch. Uh, they would set up this. They pick the, the correct product and then they enter the price. Right, it was just some kind of an expensive quick meeting. And let's see what else do we have to do here. Uh, they paid with a company card for example and then they could go ahead and click save submit to the manager and then uh, this thing goes to the manager of, of this person right so uh, themselves they could record what what they paid it with so they could say paid with cash or bank so in this case bank there could also be the credit card in there and uh, the expense itself is here so I'll save it and from here on the administrative user some something somebody responsible for approving or rejecting these things would take over so we could go ahead and uh, take a look at it in the to approve log in the expense module there is the lunch with client expense here so I could go ahead and take a look at it
The person submitting the expense could also submit a picture of a receipt that they are trying to get reimbursed for or that they are just submitting basically for records purposes. They could attach it here through the attachments log. And in that case, uh, the, the administrative user would also see it here attached. And then if everything looks fine with this, with this expense, then the manager would click approve and then uh, they could either send it to the accountant to post it or they could just post it directly to the books and then this expense will automatically show up in the books in there so i can look at it if i look at the profit and loss see the meals and entertainment now it's part of a pnl report in here and uh, there are many different other possibilities with accounting um, that would take a lot longer to describe uh, but this sums up the way that the system works in um, to tie everything together and, and put it into the accounting module from the standard processes that are taken care of by this system.